Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, November 20th, 2023. It's every morning. These dogs just run wild. 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 Ripping and running and ripping and running and ripping and running. And this in here, Ginger. We like to run and play every morning. Every morning. It could not be a peaceful morning over here. It's just not possible. It ain't happening. They're ah. ripping and running, biting, fighting, just running all over the place. And I told that girl, I was just eating breakfast. Ripping and running and fighting and hunching with each other. This is ridiculous. Y'all can eat y'all breakfast right now. You know they eat breakfast. I put them some breakfast over there. They still ain't went in there to eat. I guess I closed the door. I'm going to put the breakfast in there and close the door. Because they say, shit, we can't open up this damn door. I want to show you all something. This is a device. I've always had sinus issues all my life. Um, allergies, sinus, sinusitis, sinus issues, which leads to chest, chest congestion, which leads to me having a chest infection or sinus infections. It always starts in my sinus cavity. I found this little device. Someone, one of my um, friends, Mr. Gay, who works at the Atlanta airport. Hey, Shaker. Shake um, he suggested this device for me. Call it a Navi. I'm calling it the Navi. Navaji. The Navaji. Welcome to Navaji. Navaji cleans your sinus cavity. So it's a machine to make your nose clean. It's all that snot and boogers and all that shitting your nose out. Man, this thing works. I bought this thing Friday, Saturday? Saturday. It's Monday. I feel 10 times better. Using this machine, you stick it in your nose. Water goes, you put the water solution in here. Stick it in your nose. It rinses out your nose. It sticks the water on one side, sucks it out the other, and dumps the, the bad stuff here. This damn thing works. And I've used it a couple times a day. I used it this morning. It's called Powered Suction Nasal Hygiene to the 21st Century. I've heard of this thing before and I've seen it. And I was like, eh, because I was just using it in my neti pot. This is the neti pot on steroids. <laughs> this motherfucking thing works. If you have sinus problems, allergy problems, get it. It's 100 bucks. But you did a little pot, follow the instructions. You know, you got to keep the thing clean. I'm very happy with this purchase. It's hundred dollars, y'all. This has been a lifesaver for the last few days for me. Immediate relief as soon as you use it because it gets everything out of your nose that you can't just blow it out. It sucks it out. And I can talk. My voice is fine. My throat's fine. Every time I feel a little congestion, I go up there to put it together. It takes all of two seconds, all of a minute to put it together. Pour the water in there. Put the little thing, the little pot in there. Stir it up a little bit. And stick it in my nose because you, you put the little water in here and you first you put the water in then you put a little pot in there and you have to close the pot in there and make sure you follow the instructions because otherwise it won't work and you put the water in there to a little fill line I don't know if y'all can see the little fill line there see where it says you fill the water up to and then you just stick it to your nose and hold a little button on the side and it automatically just starts pushing water through your nose and sucking it out the other side if there was ever a miracle that ever happened in a device, this is it. Thank you, Jesus, for this miracle. Jesus Quasez, who worked in that factory, who made this. Thank you. Finally, we get something good out of Jesus' lives. Instead of prayer and hope, we got a device put together. I'm sure this thing was made down in Mexico or China. Where is this thing made at? Uh, oh, actually, it says it's... Says uh, Brooklyn, Ohio. Nose cleaner designed in the USA and assembled in China. So it's not like Jesus. More like uh, Cha Cha Chi. He put it together. Salt pods designed and made in the USA. USA. So Jesus might have been in the, in the factory making the salt pods. Get it? It works. So anyway, you can get this anywhere. Walgreens. You can get a Walgreens, you can get it from um, 
any drugstore, Kroger's, Walmart. I've seen this thing all over the place, but I never really knew what it was until I got it. I said, well, I, hell, I've been waiting for all these sinus problems I always had when I used my little neti pot. Done with the neti pot. The neti pot is old school. Welcome to the new, the 21st century, or the 22nd century. Which century are we in? I don't know, y'all. Maybe smart folks. Well, uh, I don't know. Are we, are we in the 21st century or the 22nd century now? I don't know. Anyway, I think we're the 21st century. That's a good question. Anyway, so yesterday I did this video about a young man who did a video about it encouraging people to take the HIV medications. Y'all, some of the ignorant comments I saw on that post, I deleted. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all, we have, let's listen. When it comes to HIV in the black community, gay and straight, we didn't lost that battle. It's over with. There are so many people living with HIV in our communities that it's, it's a wrap. They're everywhere. And every day, more and more people test positive. Why? Hmm, I can't put my finger on it. We can talk about safe sex until the cows come home. When people get married, they don't have to practice safe sex. Husbands and wives get married. Um, you have children come into the world. The problem, the problem are people who have tested positive, who are living with HIV, and not taking their medications, this is the issue. So listen, y'all. I do not like fucking ignorance. And I will not tolerate ignorance in my uh, comment section on any of my videos. Some of you all are so fucking ignorant, it makes no motherfucking sense. You niggas are fucking ignorant as fucking hell. You are. And I know why. Because of the country we live in. The United States government has, has had this campaign to reign of terror against black folks since we've been in this country. I know this. And it's left us dumb as a box of fucking rocks. On purpose. But at some point, we got we to gotta claw ourselves out of the ignorance. Come out that pit. When it comes to stuff like HIV or high blood pressure or cancer or medications... Somebody keeps, everybody always makes a comment, brings up the comment about black folks being afraid of medication because of what took place at the Tuskegee Institution decades ago. They didn't get them niggas medicine. That's what y'all don't continue to ignore. They didn't treat them for gonorrhea or syphilis, whatever they were. Was, was, they didn't treat them. They didn't give them medications. Don't you get it? But y'all bring that shit up. That's why we don't like medicine. No, they didn't treat them niggas. They didn't give them any medicines. They didn't give them shit. They, you, they wanted to see how the disease was progressing until them guys died from that disease. Then I hear this stuff about everybody, Dr. CB. Dr. CB was full of fucking shit. Why do y'all fall for this ignorance? I don't get it. All right, listen, y'all. I mean, give me some coffee. I have so many friends. We've had massive heart attacks. Some have died. My sister died. Get out of that couch. I've had enough. Wouldn't take their blood pressure medication. My sister had medication sitting on the counter. She wouldn't touch it. Until she started having kidney failure. And then she wouldn't follow the instructions in the dialysis clinic. Hmm. Now, we got a dialysis clinic, the dialysis clinic on every fucking corner in black America. Every corner. Drive. DeVita. DeVita. Sometimes two right next to each other. I've been in the intersection, the intersection of Glenwood and Cameron Road. They got four dialysis clinics right there. Four. Packed with patients. All up and down Cameron Road. All you see is dialysis clinics. Going up and down Memorial Drive. Going to these black neighborhoods, going to Cascade Road, dialysis clinic, all the places. We will not take care of our health. We won't take our blood pressure medications. We won't do what we need to do if we have diabetes. We won't do shit. This is ignorance. Are there great medications to help with high blood pressure? Yes, there are. Yeah. Are there great medications to help with diabetes? Of course. Yes. 
Are there great medications to help a person who's living with HIV, HIV live a long and normal life? Hell yes! We gotta stop living in caveman times. Y'all can't be this stupid forever. You cannot be this ignorant forever. This is why I kind of stay away from a lot of black folks. Y'all too fucking ignorant for me. You're just too ignorant. Won't take your medications. Won't go to the doctor's appointment. Won't go get tested. Don't even know you got high blood pressure. Don't know you have diabetes. Don't know you have HIV. Don't know shit. But you're running your fucking mouth. Instead of shutting your fucking mouth and using your fucking ears. Y'all, you're too fucking ignorant. And at some point, we got to pull out of this ignorant shit. You, we cannot stay ignorant forever when it comes to these diseases that are killing us. And there are cures available to keep you healthy. You can't be stupid forever. You can't be stupid forever, y'all. We just it, 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 At some point, we got to break out of this bullshit these white folks and toss to pit these crackers and through our ass in. We got to come out of it. Somehow, it's ridiculous. I don't want to get treated. You know, I had a friend many years ago had cancer. Didn't want to do chemo. I said, well, at least you can go try to see the chemo and see what happens. Didn't want to do chemo. Well, he ain't here no more. I heard chemo was so bad. you rather die of cancer than go get treated for something that you could be treated for? And chemo could have saved your life? Dead now. He chose death. How could you be so stupid? How could we be so ignorant? You can't tell you nigga shit. Y'all don't want to listen. The battle with HIV, we lost that battle, y'all. That's, that's a wrap. It's so deeply ingrained in our communities now. Gay and straight. So deeply, we're not going to be able to, The only way we can stop HIV is two, two ways. Medication for people who are positive to make them undetectable and medication for people who are negative to keep them from contracting the HIV PrEP. Those are the only two ways we're going to stop this disease spread. Now we can talk about safe sex and all that shit. You niggas ain't going to do it any damn way. You ain't never practice safe sex. We can scream safe sex and condoms and all that shit to the fucking cows come home. You niggas ain't doing it. The syphilis outbreak in 2023, babies being born with syphilis in this time and age in 2023 is motherfucking insane in the membrane. But you niggas are still having babies with syphilis and you won't go get fucking tested and treated for it in 2023. That's how ignorant you motherfuckers are. This is ignorance. What other way can you all, what, oh, you got another word to call it? Ignorance, stupidity, well, I don't know what. Ignorance at the highest motherfucking level in Niggaville. But, y'all know so much. Y'all got all the answers. But you won't go even go get tested for fucking syphilis. And you're fucking pregnant. Who the fuck walks around here pregnant with a baby and don't do no type of prenatal care at all to even know that they got a fucking disease that could kill their child and them? Y'all that fucking stupid? Yes, ma'am. Well, what can we do about this, y'all? Because y'all niggas have made up your fucking mind. I'm not taking any medications. I'm not going to that doctor's appointment. I don't need that damn doctor. I'm going to take some herbs and vitamins and blueberries and nuts and, and, and egg whites. That's how ignorant you niggas are. Might not be you specifically, but you know somebody who I'm talking about because I know a whole bunch of ignorant niggas. And the shit that come out their mouth, I sit back and say, you are ignorant as fucking hell. As you all know, this, when I do my videos, ain't nothing right but these two months. I tend to stay as far away from niggerville as I can. Y'all just do too ignorant for me. Some of my family members come to, come to my house and they'll be here for Thanksgiving. The shit that come out their motherfucking mouth, I say, ooh, these niggas ignorant. They as hell. I don't say I heard y'all get some turkey and hell and feed the niggas or feed them. Eat everybody, eat up, eat up. Get the fuck out of my house. What can I do? How can I'm 53, you motherfuckers way younger than me, but y'all just fucking ignorant. The ignorance that come out these niggas' mouths is astounding. 
It don't make no fucking sense. It makes no fucking sense. None at all. So you have to make up your mind. What you want to deal with or don't deal with. And the level of ignorance that people have is astounding to me. Today is Monday, November 20th. The year is 2023. And I have to be prepared. Um, if y'all can hear this music playing in the background. Well, hopefully y'all won't be able to hear that music. Because if he does, I'm about video. I mean, let me stop this video. You know, today is Monday, November 20th. The year is 2023. And go out and enjoy this beautiful day. And, um... Yeah. Stop being so ignorant and I'm out. I had to stop that video for a minute because for some reason the music started playing in the back. I must have said something to my iPhone and it started playing this damn music in the living room. And I was like, okay, what the fuck is this? And you cannot play music in your YouTube videos because it will create a monetization issue. It was playing Rihanna's Take Care. So I must have said something that triggered this thing to play this music. Weird, huh? It's technology. And it goes back to what I said. In an era of all this technology, black people, we still mired in ignorance. Some of the comments that I read and some of the statements that people have said about HIV and AIDS, high blood pressure, diabetes, y'all, we, we cannot be as ignorant. And the reason why I came back here because I want to make this clear. There are great medications for people living with HIV. There's no reason for anybody to get sick and die from, from AIDS in 2023. The only reason why the people are getting sick and die from AIDS in this day and era, they're not getting tested to know their status. Because you go get tested, you find out you're positive. Now you know your status. Or they know their status and they're not taking their medications as prescribed by their doctors. If you're not taking your medications as prescribed by your doctors, and these medications have uh, excellent medications, one pill per day, they don't make you sick. You live a normal, healthy life, niggas. Don't you get it? Now, the reason why I keep bringing up high blood pressure, because I have high blood pressure. And I've been in barbershops, the gym, various places. And niggas are so anti-medication for high blood pressure. And I'm thinking, y'all, this fucking ignorant. You're so anti-medication. You can take natural herbs and vinegar and black cider and this and that. All kinds of ignorant ass fucking shit. The shit that come out you niggas' mouths astounds me. Now I can imagine there are some ignorant white folks out there thinking the same bullshit too. I don't see them crackers on a regular basis. I don't know what the fuck going over there on Crackerville. But dealing with you niggas, I do know what's going on. You ignorant as fucking hell. I've been ignorant. <clears throat> Let's just face the truth. We all come out, have to be in some level of ignorance when it comes to... Uh, we all at some point have been ignorant. I was ignorant at one point. But I would never advocate for anybody not to take their medications. There's this thought that people who have HIV they live a promiscuous lifestyle. Well, everybody ain't wouldn't live a promiscuous lifestyle as HIV positive. Now, come on, y'all. For some people, it was their first sexual encounter. And as many people contacted it from their sexual, their, their partners, husbands and wives. Somebody they have been having sex with for years. You can't be promiscuous. You only have a sex with one person. That ain't possible. That's what that's what, that, that that don't that's not what being promiscuous means. They were in a committed relationship with someone they was in love with, a husband, a wife, or partner, who somehow did something incredibly stupid and brought this disease home. Whatever disease it might be, that's spread sexually, whether it's herpes. Gonorrhea, syphilis, fungus, any fungus or bacteria, there's so many to name, or HIV, there's so many sexually transmitted diseases. They, some of them even got names for them. Seriously, look it up. They can treat it though, but we don't know what it is, but we sure gonna treat it. 
There's so many things that can be spread through sex. But it can be treated. If you go get tested for syphilis. If you go get tested for gonorrhea. If you go get tested for herpes. If you go get tested for HIV. They have a medication for all those. Even hepatitis. They got vaccines for this stuff too. Some of them. Hepatitis B. Um, a. Those can sometimes be considered sexually transmitted too. And they have vaccines for them. But if you ain't going to no doctor's appointments. Right. I ain't been to doctor in 20 years. My health is fine. I don't go to doctors. I have a friend of mine. I've known this man. This man about 10 years, 15 years younger than me. He's got he's in his 30s. Something. He's to brag about not going to a dentist, not going to a doctor, not doing this. And I'm just, and I'm just thinking, what is it to brag about? Nigga had gingivitis, breath was so damn bad. It knocked it down. Comes out, he had gum disease. Finally got his ass to a dentist. <laughs> you know, I may have a few, I'm missing some teeth, but the ones I got, I kept them cleaning at the dentist and getting going to the dentist appointment and getting my teeth cleaned and so I can figure out how, to, what I'm, how much I'm working on now. I, mean, I, just, I got surprises still for y'all for come December 2023. Teeth from the teeth store. Upscale teeth, nice teeth, Gucci's, Prada, Fendi. Well, that's the really, really one thing I'm paying for. But these teeth designed by uh, Versace. Why are they so high? They ain't got a little Versace symbol on them or something? In the back of the tooth? Oh, okay. Are you sure they're not from France? This is a German designer, the Mercedes. They, these must be Maybach teeth. Y'all put my damn off. These damn teeth. What are, what are y'all? Why are they so high? Yeah, I'm getting some, some Maybach teeth in my mouth. Figure that one out. I didn't call all over the place. I found a place in Colombia. I'm, I'm heading out. I'm heading out. I'm getting me some teeth, teeth, teeth. I'm going to the teeth store. I'm going to the teeth store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's going to be painful. I say, I'm just going to scratch my head last night. I'm going to fly down to Colombia to these damn teeth. Got to be done, though. Time to get some teeth. We can't go toothless around here forever. Can't be a toothless fool on the internet forever. Uh, gumming on my th steak last night. I'm trying to eat how we're just chewing. Oh, give me a second. I got to chew this a little bit longer. It was a tough piece of meat over here. Mm -mm -mm. Almost, yeah, but sometimes I almost choked. I've learned because I'm kind of toothless in the rear. Toothless. I have to take my time and chew. If I get to wrestling, uh, I'll try to be a dead man. But then choked on a piece of meat. And who's going to hide me with my big ass? Hey, he didn't die over here. He's about to die at a Houston steakhouse. He's eating a damn Houston Hawaiian choked on it. Choked on a piece of steak at Houston Hawaiian and died. Damn. I mean, he died. We didn't know how the hell we going to pay for that food. He had the credit card in his pocket. So, anyway. I'm going to give you some more coffee. I feel great. Go get this machine. The Navigy. The Navage. Na Na Navage? Nav Na 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 Naviet Navaji. I call it Navaji. Navaji. Alright? Navaji. I think this is how it's pronounced. Navaji. Get it. Anyway. Let me get let me some more coffee. Just to make sure these dogs are in the bathroom too. Today is, I'm finished done with the video. It says Monday is November 20th, the year is 2023. And, um, I have a, I don't know, I'm gonna try to do some more videos before Thanksgiving. I ain't making no motherfucking promises, though. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm gonna try. I got a bunch of shit I need to do. I got a doctor point today, too. It's 8 30 in the morning, and I need to go up here. On, you know. Anyway, today is Monday. It's November 20th. The year is 2023. I'm out. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. If you post some ignorant ass comments, I'm going to delete them and ban you from my channel. I'm tired of ignorance. Take your ignorant nigga behavior to some other person's channel. Not here. I can't tolerate it no more. You niggas too ignorant for me. Keep that shit in nigga, yo. 
I'm out of here and enjoy the rest of this beautiful Monday.